Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of On the Avenue. Did you know that it is Women's History Month? Well, now you know. Between 1988 and 1994, Congress passed resolutions requesting and authorizing the president to proclaim March of each year as Women's History Month. And ever since, but also before that time, we've been celebrating the contributions women have made to the United States and recognize the specific achievements women have made over the course of American history in a variety of fields. Here at Wheeler Avenue, we always make it a point to honor all parts of our history. Mrs. Lawson started the Women Impact Awards fashion show at the beginning of the church's history, and now we continue that tradition in honor of our founding first lady. Today, I get to speak with the president of the Women's Guild so we can learn all about what this event entails. Let's do that now. Okay, everyone, I am here with Dr. Pam Comier, right? Did I say it right? Correct. Okay. Um, she is the president of the Women's Guild here at Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. Actually, we're not even at Wheeler right now. We're at Hilton America's Houston downtown, where they host the fashion show pretty much every year, right? Every year. Yeah, so year. let's go ahead and jump right into the conversation. Okay. Tell me about the Women's Guild. What even is that? So the Women's Guild is under the umbrella of Together for Good, which is a 5013C of Wheeler Avenue Baptist Church. And the Women's Guild provides um, services throughout the third world community through scholarship as well as service. What type of services? Um, so the Women's Guild provides community services to Madge Bush, to Wallop, to different organizations and schools as needed. Um, so our services are definitely needed throughout the community. We adopt families through the church and throughout the community. Okay, and then tell me what the difference would be between women's guilds and the women's ministry that we have. And you can talk straight to me. Okay, yeah. I'm sorry. No, you're fine. You're so okay. um, the women's guild, um, we are under the nonprofit, whereas the women's ministry are not under the nonprofit. Okay. So we take membership, um, there's dues, $25, okay. and that is kind of sustains our organization okay. under the ministry of Together for Good. So from those monies is where we um, provide our services to the community. Um, so in adopting a family, we use those monies for those families. Oh, nice. Or with Kango Drives, we use those monies uh, and the uh, volunteerism of the members for those services. So we're one and the same, but different. What is the membership intake process like? How can someone join the Women's Guild? Um, come, you're welcome, you join, you're it. Oh, <laughs> and then what is your position? Tell us what you do. So I am the president okay. of the Women's Guild. This is my second term um, and I've enjoyed every bit of it, even through the pandemic. Mm -hmm. What made you want to be a part of this organization at Wheeler? Um, just seeing the members, I was invited by Deidre Fontaine. Okay. Um, and from was there- she the previous president? She was the previous pe okay. president, somewhere in the history. Okay. I don't know if she was at that time, but she was a previous president. So from there I joined. Um, and became um, very active. Mm -hmm. And from there I became um, the secretary, vice president, and then the president. Okay, and how long have we had Women's Guild at Wheeler? So this year would be the 60th year. Oh wow, so yes. ever since the start of the church, really? Ever since the start of the church. And then the fashion show as well, right? This is the 60th year, the church would be the 61st year, so. 61st of the fashion show, okay. 60th of the fashion show, 61st of the church. Okay, great, all right. All right, so let's go into the fashion show. Let's okay. talk about it. What is it? So the fashion show, again, this is our 60th year. Right. So we're so very excited. It is a um, dream of our late founder, R.J. H. Lawson. Mm -hmm. So it's the R.J. H. Lawson Fashion Show and Impact Awards. Okay. And it will be May the 6th mm -hmm. here in the Hilton Americas. So from that um, event, which is our signature event, we raise funds for the community. Okay. So those services and those funds raised will go directly to the different um, foundations or uh, those that we see that are deemed for our services for our donations. So scholarships through the community and to the church. So why did we think it was important to have the Audrey H. Lawson Impact Awards and Fashion Show? Just what it says, it makes an impact within the third war community. Um, we raise from 30000 to $60,000 a year mm -hmm. um, 
for the scholarships and for the community. So with that being said, with the 60th year, we are anticipating even above and beyond our um, expectations mm -hmm. with it being our 60th year, because this year we will not only honor women, mm -hmm. but we have three men that we will honor. Oh, really? okay. So that would be different is for the fashion show. Okay, I was about to say, is that abnormal? That would be different. Why so, did you decide to do that this year? Because it's the 60th year. Oh, okay. So we're trying to put a little wow into it. Yeah. So we will not only have women honorees, we'll have men honorees. So um, we look forward to bringing that uh, to the fashion show. For those who are interested in modeling in the fashion show, how can they be a part of that? Okay, so what we do is we have a model call. So okay. stay on the lookout from the Avenue News mm -hmm. for a model call. So we um, do a very professional type of model call. Okay. And from there, we see how that works. What are the requirements? Not really too much requirements right. other than you have the confidence and a little bit of experience. And from there, they can teach you. What is your favorite thing, if you had to choose, your favorite thing about the fashion show? Mm -hmm. um, my favorite thing about the event is seeing the event come together. Mm. Um, just from the planning and the preparation. How many people are in that process too? Um, well, we have three um, fashion show co-chairmen. Okay. So we call them the tri-chairs. So that would be Karen Aubrey. Okay. That would be Rose Austin mm -hmm. and Candace Mayberry. And we have Susan Bynum as the fashion show consultant. Okay. And from there, we have different committees in order to um, plan the different events, the different chairmen that we need, you know, the vendors and so forth. So how far in advance are you planning for the show? Um, we usually start planning fall okay. before. So we've been planning since November okay. 2022. What can we expect this year in 2023 from the fashion show? Again, you can expect to see men as honorees. <laughs> um, we will have more honorees than we've had in a while. We've even had a fashion show virtually last year. So we're looking forward to just being a total in-person fashion show, um, utilizing the Hilton Americas, uh, providing the three men honorees as well as five women honorees that make a men an impact with here, the city of Houston. Okay, what type so. of impact does it matter? No, just any type. They can be um, education, education, politicians, politicians, philanthropy, education. It does not matter. Just whatever that impact is. The members of Women's Guild voted on those honorees. So okay. we bring it to the body. They vote on the ballot. Mm -hmm. And that's how we determine who the honorees are. OK. And then as far as like determining who they are, um, what characteristics are you looking for from these individuals to honor them? Well, we. We have characteristics that we think that is worthy, first of all, mm -hmm. um, of being honored. Um, and they're nominated by the members in which we pretty much um, value what they bring forward. So they usually do bring such a great uh, plethora mm -hmm. of individuals to consider. And this year is even better. So nice. Yes. Okay. So 2023, May 6th. May 6th. At the Hilton America. Hilton America. What is the dress code? The dress code is fashionably chic. Okay. Um, fashionably chic. Fashionably chic. Um, anything that makes you feel good. Okay. Um, anything that you'd be proud to wear as members of not only the community, but as a member of Wheel Avenue Baptist Church. Okay. And then do you have social media for the Women's Guild? So we can yes, we do. Um, we do. And we will have the tickets through Eventbrite. Okay. And we will be bringing all the information not only to the church website, but to our website as well. Okay. Well, thank you so much for telling me all about the fashion show. I'm sure. really excited about it. I'm going to be there. You're going to see so. me hopefully with my camera out getting stuff for social media for We you. look forward to seeing of you. Of course. Thank you so much for talking to me today. Thank you so much. That is going to conclude our time together today. Thank you to Dr. Comier for being so willing to speak with me about this event. Please be sure to keep up with us on all of our social media platforms so you can be reminded about this event and all of our events happening at Wheeler Avenue because you know there's always something going on. Thank you for tuning in with me and I'll see you next time on The Avenue. Bye.